Thanks for tuning in to another one of our ADOS Hunter series videos featuring the DOS 3000 and uh, the ADOS Link. Today, we're gonna to be going through the calibration on a 2021 Lexus UH, where we're gonna do the camera. This vehicle actually had some damage to the roof and the sunroof, and they took the camera out, they didn't replace it, but they put it back in. As in the case with all of these ADOS vehicles and these cameras, anytime they're disrupted, removed, replaced, reinstalled, we're gonna to have to calibrate that camera before we return it to the customer. We're gonna do that one next. We all know that Lexus is part of the Toyota family, so this will also apply to any Toyota product as well. The well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into diagnostics. My VCI is already set up to the car. My ignition is on as well. We're gonna go ahead and get our auto VIN and cycle the ignition as it asks us to do. This is where we play the Jeopardy theme music right now as we all patiently wait for it to read the VIN. All right, we're connected to the vehicle. First thing that we wanna do is always do a pre-scan of our vehicle to make sure there are no DTCs or any faults. That would be a problem for us when we do the calibrations. So we're gonna select read DTCs, select all, continue, and I'm gonna do a pre-scan on this vehicle. And of course, we hurry up and wait. Nothing else we can do at this point. So it's just gonna go through the modules right now. Pre-scan is complete. It is also saved in our saved reports on our home screen on our ADOS link, which we can access later, provide it to the customer. And of course, we'll do a post-scan after we're all done as well. I don't have any DTCs related to any problems with the actual lane keeping assist module or camera, which means we're good to go. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna get into our ADOS calibration. A couple options have shown up, front facing camera, radar, and blind spot monitoring. This Lexus, we're gonna be focusing on the actual camera today. If you wanna know how to do the radar or the blind spot monitoring on a Lexus or Toyota, we have those videos available for you on the Hunter ADOS Learning YouTube page. Right now, let's get into the camera. As with all of the Hunter calibrations using the ADOS link, the required materials that you're gonna need show up here on our first page. We're gonna use the DOS 3000 rack, the Toyota number three board, our wheel clamps, and we'll walk through this step by step. This function is used to adjust the camera after it's been removed or reinstalled, and we are not going to press skip, we're gonna press continue and walk through it step by step so you can see how to do this when you're out in the field. Remember, this is done anytime it was replaced, windshield has been replaced, when a DTC is present, or anytime an alignment has been done as well, that will affect the camera angle. Preconditions are always laid out for you every time you do any of these procedures, including level surface, good lighting, proper air inflation on the tires, suspension work has been taken care of, alignment straight, all of those things. And if a windshield has been replaced as well, make sure it's factory glass. We're gonna go through the guided tour summary and you'll see how much space we need in front of the car, approximately three meters to be able to do that. We have ample space where we're at to do this safely. And now it's gonna ask us to hook up our cameras. Now it's gonna ask us to attach our wheel clamps to the rear wheels. Remember, there are bubble levels on these so you can set them up straight. You'll also notice I need to move the DOS 3000 rack a little bit so that our cameras can see this. It's gonna tell me to do that when I press continue anyways, but I'm gonna go ahead and move it now. Now it's gonna ask us to push this all the way to the bumper. We're gonna move the entire DOS 3000 to the bumper. You're gonna to want to make sure that you grab your plate here so that you don't scratch anything. That'll go on the front 
of my DOS 3000. Center of the vehicle, nice and slow, nice and gentle. I use the emblem to know that I'm lined up center of the car. Make sure that your cameras can still see the targets, that there's no shadows or anything causing any problems. These ones look good. I'm gonna press continue. Now it's asking us to bring the DOS 3000 back to the required position. No guesswork, no tape measures, no marks on the floor. We've got our DOS 3000 in the position right now. We can go ahead and press continue. Use the brakes to set your DOS 3000 into position. Next thing we're gonna do is set our target board pitch. That's our tilting lever right here in the middle. We're gonna use our bubble screen in the position number two. We're gonna use our bubble level right here, make sure that it's good. We're good with that, we'll press continue. Now we're going to install our target height. Uh, we're gonna use a center guide pin and attach the crossbar to the upper measurement frame at the height of 135 centimeters. And you'll see the scale is going to be over here on the actual rack itself. So we'll grab that right now. Scales on both sides of the rack so you can make sure that you're lined up evenly on both sides. The crossbar is set up at 135 and it's centered. We're going to go ahead and press continue. We've already leveled it to make sure that it's right where it needs to be. There is a level as well right here that we made sure was good. Now we're gonna install our target board. We need Toyota number three. And we are going to install this to the crossbar right in the center position. And of course your crossbar is also marked with numbers so you know that you're in the center position as well. Only one target needed for this one. Now it's asking us to move away from the calibration area. Disconnect your USB cable if you haven't already done that for your cameras, which we already did. Let's go ahead and press continue. Listen on the next screen is the adjustment data currently stored in the ECU. Please make sure they match the values in the repair manual. Press continue. Calibration is in progress. Here is our measurements that are stored. According to the service manual, these are acceptable, so we'll press continue. Now we're going to install it to position one center, which we have done, shown in the image. Press that, press continue. Now we're gonna move it to the left, 55 centimeters as shown in the image. So we'll go over here, we're gonna go back to the guide bar and slide the target over to 55. Now remember, you have three minutes to do this. So <laughs> we're gonna press continue and I think we're gonna to have to move this to the left as well here in just a moment. Now we're gonna to go to the right at 55 as well. Remember, you have three minutes. It's 
It's asking us to turn the ignition switch off. I'll press continue. And we've got a few seconds to turn it back on. Get my steps in today, everybody. And the calibration is successfully completed. At this point, it also saved the calibration report to our save reports on our ADOS link that you can access later. You can email this, you can print it off and give a copy to your customer showing that everything was completed. We press continue and it's gonna kick us back out. As with any ADOS calibration you do in the field, before you return it to the customer, it is imperative that you drive the vehicle and make sure that the lane keeping assist system is operating as designed. Make sure it sees the lines on the road and make sure that it also functions if you veer left or right of those lines. After you're done with that, do your post scan and save it to your ADOS link. You'll have three things that you can provide to the customer, a pre-scan, a successful calibration report, and a post scan. Remember, if you want to know how to do the blind spot monitor on this vehicle or a Toyota, or if you want to know how to do the actual radar in the front on a Toyota or camera, we have covered that in previous Hunter videos that you can find on YouTube, plus a ton of other ADOS videos that you can watch to make sure that you know how to handle all the ADOS calibrations that come into your shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.